another capacity grid awaits us the uh, track is being cleared here one more time before we get to the grid, oh no, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you what, we'll thank the marshals after we go through the grid. Let's go through the grid, seeing as it's there. It's right here in front of us, isn't it? Starting on in pole position uh, for Fusion Motorsport. Callum Bradshaw alongside is Danny Curl in second place on the front row. Sean Butcher in third place with Oliver Hodgson in fourth. Rory Hudson in fifth place and Caden McQueen, who I believe has got the oomph from the cart now, yes, is the, in sixth place. The waft unit is back to being a waft unit, not the other word unit. Yes. Uh, Connor Jupp starts seventh. Yesterday he had a birthday. Uh, today he doesn't have a birthday because it was yesterday, but I still mention it. Sian Shields, eighth, eighth on the grid. Alex Pendlebury, ninth. And Tyler Reed rounding out the top ten. He's had a really strong day for the Argenti team. Thomas Turner runs ele uh, qualifies 11th. And Thomas Fleming will start 12th. 13th on the grid, Archie Tillett, obviously from his uh, crash he had earlier on in the weekend, recovering well from that one, up into 13th in this one. Gus Lawrence in 14th, Joseph Taylor in 15th, Harry Platten in 16th on the grid. Then it's Ewan Wilson and uh, Oliver Gray in 18th place. Again, yesterday, fourth for Oliver Gray in the final today, only 18th on the grid. Blake Anglis and Caleb Marshall round out the top 20 ahead of Dan McKeown. Tom Nippers, Alessandro Serenetti and Ben Hodge. That is your top 24. There's still plenty more behind them. Uh, plenty more on the grid. And here they are. Matt Armstrong in 25th. Gary Edwards in 26th place. Then it's Brad Pennell in 27th. Grain, uh, Ollie Greetham, sorry, in 28th place. Morgan Porter in 29th. And then rounding out the top 15 grid is uh, Thomas Wood. Morgan Porter, the repercharge winner. How much ground can the number 40 Argenti cart make up the last two rows of the grid will murdoch casper scusa sam hawthorne and nat thomas so again after we saw a very exciting repercharge in the senior x30 race the top six drivers that finished on the track all safely made it through post-race scrutineering and make their take their positions on the grid for this the last 12 minute plus one lap race just to remind the boys and girls back home and here in the paddock yesterday's results callum bradshaw oliver hodgson and danny curl the top three oliver gray and gus lawrence fourth and fifth bradshaw starts from pole curl starts uh, sorry hodgson starts from somewhere else fourth curl starts second gray starts right back in 18th and gus lawrence is 14th so there's real scope for some changes in the top five here here they come out on the circuit for the final time here at the lakeland stadium railroad today engines are fired and we are off and running on the rolling lap yes a rolling lap out there it's uh, it's always nice where hopefully everyone gets around without any excursions it, off yes. the track we and have seen that today but hopefully no one does it in the final and let's hope that that's the last time we refer to rolling uh, yes. this race yes. has to be said so they all sort of get themselves in line. So, I mean, again, several fast drivers. Obviously, Bradshaw, Curl, Butcher, Hodgson, Hudson and McQueen. I mean, even though Hudson and McQueen are on the third bit, neither of them have shown race winning pace yet. What have they saved for the final? Anybody outside the top two rows can make a can. They, can, can anybody outside the top two rows make a concerted bid for victory because Bradshaw, Curl, Butcher and Hodgson have been virtually unflappable today and uh, they slow down yes there's a bit of tyre warming going on there they're all sort of lined up let's hope for no start line infringements and then everyone has a safe passage through the first thing so here we go Senior X30, lights are green, we're off and racing. Bradshaw gets a great start, gets across the racing line and takes the lead through the first chicane and we're all through safely. No, it's a false, false start. start. Ah, no, was that a false start? Do you know what? I thought that Bradshaw made a very <laughs> early move. Early move across to take the racing line. But he's, now, Danny Kill knows what Callum Bradshaw's going to do. So I would, I, I, I would bet my bottom dollar that Danny Curl will make sure he comes off the paddock bend on this next rolling lap absolutely on alongside, if not a millimetre in front of the pole man, just to stop Bradshaw from coming across to take the racing line coming into that first game. So, I mean, it was a, it was a good, good thinking of Bradshaw, but he went a little bit too early. Now we're going to do it again, and Curl knows what the tactic is now. 
Yeah, and is he going to read into that one as they come out of Sunny Bend? But I mean, of course, you know, Bradshaw's going to try and stop that by going as wide as possible. Yeah. So we're going to watch him. So before we get into the tram lines, I wonder if Callum Bradshaw's going to ease out a little bit wide. No, not much. Or oh, he's going to late turn in. So, you know, see, look at Curl. Curl, he's almost in front of the pole man. He's going to get up the speed now. This is better, this is better. And they're uh, off and away. And again, Danny Curl was right there, and he made sure that Bradshaw didn't cut across him, and he's actually taken the lead. Great anticipation for Danny from Danny Curl, and Bradshaw has been snooped a little bit. He's down to third position behind Oliver Hodgson. Well, this is the one that you'd buy your tickets for, Curl versus Hodgson in the final. And it, with Brad, with the, the, the rest supporting class, the cast playing uh, an important role. But I mean, the two main players from last season, two of the three main players from last season, and in fact, two of oh, there's a problem. Uh, there's two players that are out of this. Oh, that's Gary Edwards, the number 87. One of them. He, he made it, made it to the final today, and it's lasted about 100 yards. Yeah, you and Wilson also involved in that one, and the number 12 also caught up. Here we go. At the end of lap number one. Curl leads. Hodgson second. How many times have these two locked horns over the years? The answer is lots, and it's great to see. But now they've got Callum Bradshaw and Connor Jupp right behind them. So the two fusion cards in second and third place. The Jade Racing team that runs Danny Curl lead the way. Oliver Hodgson from Mark Litchfield Racing outfit in P2. And again, how ironic was that? That Litchfield and Hodgson, they were teammates at the, for the, at the PF International Kart team for several years. They were fierce rivals. And now Hodgson is driving for Litchfield. And uh, lead the way. Here's the cart screaming down the back straight. Uh, into the Stuart S's, the leaders there coming through Sunny Bend and into uh, St John's and into Sunny Bend. There is the number 73 cut of Thomas Fleming ahead of Cade and McQueen. So McQueen has dropped to eighth position. Uh, so the order is Curl, Hodgson, Bradshaw, Jupp. Then Butcher, Hudson, Fleming, McQueen, Reed, Turner. That's your top ten. Tillett is next, followed by Shields, Lawrence, Platten, and Gray is your top 15. All 30 will be Alex Pendlebury has retired. Ewan Wilson, I think, no, Ewan Wilson and uh, Gary Edwards are both still running after their collision, but they're a little bit off the back. So, no Pendlebury, 33 carts still running. Dive down the inside from third place, and that is uh, Bradshaw moving on Hodgson. So, a great move up into second now. That's Fusion Motorsport now back up into second place. And the young Fusion Motorsport starlet flows in on the former world karting champion Danny Curl out of Paddock Bend, long way to go. And uh, two, four, six, seven drivers, is that seven drivers? Uh, back all in, well, I know, six drivers. Back Butcher and Hudson at the back of this league group. Now, Hodgson moves back in and Jep forcing his teammate wide there. Connor Jep decides, oh, I've had enough of this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the first fusion cart in a while. There's uh, Hudson uh, at the back of that group, they cart number five. Butcher in the number 57 cart. But even despite all that battling, uh, the, uh, Danny Curl is not getting away. He's not breaking away, is he? Uh, KR Sports, Sean Butcher. Uh, he's set the new fastest lap of the race, 46.7 at the moment. He's running in uh, fifth place, and he's in this group. So uh, the fact that even though they're battling and in this tight-knit group, they're still putting in some fast times. Yep. So uh, that's obviously going to allow these guys to still break away this top six from the seventh place team. Uh, you can see there that there's a 1.4 second gap between the top six and seventh place. So they are still breaking away. We'll keep an eye on that gap to see if it does fluctuate at all. Oliver Hodgson now sets a new fastest time, 46.510, and he's in second place. Yep, and he's closing in. So again, down the back straight, that you can see the top six gap back to seventh place. Caden McQueen, who can't quite catch it. He's got Tyler Reed and Thomas Fleming behind him. Tillett still rounding out the top ten. He's just gone past the old plate of Turner, who slipped to 11th place. Shield is 12th. Gus Lawrence not making much progress, unfortunately, from 13th place. Uh, neither is Platten from 14th and Oliver Gray in 15th place. Then there's Taylor next. Tom Nippers having a good run up into 17th place in the number 89 car. And... Uh, but again, Danny Curl, he's starting to come under pressure. Hodgson, bit between his teeth, and he's bringing Connor Jupp with him. Uh, great photo from Chris Walker from, from uh, uh, Cartmasters a couple of weeks ago, the finish of the Senior X30 race with uh, Hodgson beating Jupp by about half a cart length. Sadly, Danny Curl not, was not in that shot because he was, he crashed out with a couple of laps to go. But Hodgson is there now. Hodgson has got, well, ooh, it was about three or four cart lengths between him and the carts behind him. He's got Danny Curl in his crosshairs. Will he make a move? coming into Paddock possibly this time. 
Uh, Curls lost that lead he had, hasn't he? It's uh, all the way down. It was six cents this time. It's now non-existent it as uh, it gets taken over by Hodgson. So Curl moving down into second place. Uh, and I think Hodgson's uh, transponder now responding and he moves back up into uh, first on his timing screen but down the inside goes the 25 that's Callum Bradshaw on Connor Jupp so uh, Juppie having to be pushed out the way and, uh, you know, the, <laughs> and Juppie <laughs> pushes him straight back out the way yep, and, and Bradshaw's sort of shaking his head thinking, come on teammates give us, give us a break and Jupp's like I know but this is the final Let, you know it's all bets are off but it has slowed him down and it's allowing Hodgson and Curl to escape slightly. Still six and three quarter minutes to go, however. And so, now Danny Curl, we might, and I, I'm trying to predict what's going to happen. Danny Curl is sitting right behind Oliver Hodgson. He'll be content to sit behind Hodgson for a little while. If he senses that the drivers behind are closing in, just as they sort of get within lunge range, then Danny Curl makes his move and gets out of trouble. That is, the, that is how uh, we see Danny Curl operate quite a lot. You know, he's happy to sit in second. He doesn't want to get involved in a in a in a in a neck and neck tussle throughout the whole race. But if there's the check behind, right? He's got ten cart lengths. I don't think we're going to see a move coming into this corner. No, 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 no. I think he's going to. He doesn't. What we saw in the final the other day, he had the lead. He was uh, holding it comfortably. Went down to second, but then he tried to go for that move and he let everyone catch back up. And then we had six carts fighting, and then he lost out again and went down to third. He doesn't want a repeat of that today. No. What he wants to do is he wants to stay second place, keep that gap open, maybe extend it a little bit when the timer yep. runs out, then make the move. There's no time to get it back. Takes the win. And uh, if, but if he sees, and, and again, but if he sees that gap come down to about five cart lengths, then he'll go. He'll make the yeah. move early just because to, to, to avoid, like you said, getting sucked into a, a multi-cart scrap. Hodgson leads. The problem is though, is that Hodgson isn't exactly some bandit. He's not going to make a mistake. He's not going to make it easy for you. Hodgson is not going to. He's not going to pull over. He is. No. Yeah, but, and, and, and the, the third and fourth place drivers, Jump and Bradshaw, are closing in. Butcher is still fifth, but he's Butcher and Hudson have fallen off this league group. So yeah. it is four drivers battling for the win here in Senior X30. Five minutes left on the clock. Jump set the fastest time uh, that lap around, uh, and still this time it is still the fastest lap out there. So he has closed that gap up. So like you say, these four drivers battling it out: Hudson, Curl, Jump, and Bradshaw. As they go through again, Bradshaw another fastest time, 46.170. That gap is non-existent now. They are nose to tail as they go through. Each driver has a little look behind to see where it is, and there's the dive. So Curl could see the group oh. catch up, and uh, yeah, Jupp also followed through. So uh, Jupp, he said, thank you very much. I'll take some of that as well. So now your new one is Curl, Jupp, Hodgson, then Bradshaw. Uh, so, so Connor Jupp hoping for a belated birthday present here. And uh, he certainly seemed to have the pace. I saw him, spoke to him earlier and he said he just didn't quite, quite have, you know, the top end to compete, you know, uh, for, the, for the win yesterday. But he said he think we've, they've got, we've got something for him today and his prophecy is turning true. Yes, it is. Just uh, under four minutes. Yep, yeah, and uh, there is the top four coming out of McRae's. Great, uh, Iredale's rather, great drone shot past the lake. Wouldn't do something in the no. Look, that's it. You didn't want to leave the service. Well, oh, I did 414. Yeah, 414. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and possibly a hill with a danger. Or a Morris Marina with a piano. <laughs> For those of you that watched Top Gear back in the day. Here we go, up the hill towards uh, Paddock Bend. And again, Butcher and Hudson, they, 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 they haven't got the pace to stay with the leaders as things are. McQueen and Tyler Reed in 7th and 8th place. They're not out of this one yet. But it's going to take some battling. Now, now, Connor Jupp, not the most patient of fellows when it comes to taking the lead. And he's having a little look at the inside of Curl. Cur and, and, and Curl's having to defend. So with three minutes to go, Danny Curl, by the fact that it's Jupp behind him, he has to defend. And Jupp turning around to Hodge saying, right, come on, let's have it. And right. Danny Curl, but the in hugging the inside. This is going to slow people down. It's going to bring Butcher. It's going to bring Hudson back into play. And it has. And now it's going to bring McQueen and Reed into play. And it's about to. Yeah, it's going to be a, well, it's a carbon copy of what we saw the other day, and hopefully it turns out differently. And uh, two minutes, 40 seconds left on the clock, and again, this long train of cars battling it out. It's great to see such competitive drivers up in this top class. It's not just one driver, it's not just two, it's eight of them who are fighting. Yep, indeed. It's like we're going to 
to quote Smokey the Bandit, we're doing a 70s culture reference. I'll be a long <laughs> way to go and a short time to get there. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah I've, I've gone even further back. I mean, if the 80s references, I mean, oh, dear, we started off with early 90s rave music references, and that didn't, didn't gain a reaction. But So back to, no, never mind, Henry, shut up, talk about the racing. Look at that, there's eight carts battling for the lead, two minutes to go. Yeah, there's plenty of action out on this one. The top three are the closest out there, so it's still Curl, Jupp, Hudson. Are we going to see a move into this final corner now? I think we were. Oh, I wasn't close enough. And it was lucky that Jupp did it because Hodgson was going to do it as well and at further back as well a little bit of defensive driving you still got some of the fusion uh, the yep. chaos sport cards as well battling there in the background here comes the number three down the inside it's Hodgson down the inside of Jupp makes the move done into McRae's and he says go 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 push forward I want to catch him as and there's 90 seconds on the clock and, uh, and Danny Kerr looking over his shoulder thinking, oh my god that's Hodgson behind me you know he thinks uh, my, my rear bumper is not under threat every single quarter because Connor Jump again looking really aggressive you know Connor Jump knows one way to race and that is forward front quick as possible yeah exactly that and uh, through here now those guys battling away there's been a bit of an opening and there's been a bit of a problem behind the tyler, i tell you what tyler reed if we're going to have a drive of the day so far tyler reed up in the fifth position on that number 37 argenti car he has moved past uh hudson mcqueen and butcher to take fifth position and you can just see him po poking his nose in the back of the lead camera shot there and Callum Bradshaw's had a quiet run there. I'm not sure. I mean, we're getting down towards closing time, and uh, Bradshaw in fourth place hasn't been able to sort of make a move. It's been once he lost that sort of advantage early on, uh, he's not been. Well, he's been at the races, but he's not been at the races, if you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah. Exactly Good. that. I'm glad you do because I'm not a clue. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> 20, Thirty seconds to go, and it's still Danny Kill leading from Hodgson and Jep with Bradshaw in fourth and Reed in fifth. Last lap board won't come out this time. They are going to have time to cross the line. Last lap board is going to come out next time, and the drivers know that as well. So they know that they're on the penultimate lap. And these guys, as they go through, they're still all closed up. But again, there's a little bit of breathing space that Curl's got. He's got two tenths of a second, but he's got to keep his head down and concentrate. Now, it is so Hodgson behind, looking at the sector times. So sector times in sector one for Curl and Hodgson are identical. There is nothing between them. So as they go through into sector two, I'll keep an eye on that to see if there's any difference, but the gap still looks the same. It's still two, uh, nearly three tenths of a second. And the last lap board is being prepared. Out of Sunny Bend, up the hill towards Paddock. Now Hodgson, no curl defends. Curl defends, that's gonna give Jupp an opportunity as well as Hodgson. On to the final lap here in the opening weekend of the British Kart Championship at Rowra. And Danny Curl meets Ollie Hodgson Connor Jupp and Callum Bradshaw jump to the outside. Is he going to try and steal second? That's going to force him wide. He's still on the outside. Now he's got the inside line for the run into Iredale. He's going to stick his nose at the inside. They both run wide. Callum Bradshaw says, oh, it's not my birthday this weekend. It's your birthday, Connor, but thanks for the presents. And into second place he goes as Danny Curl says, whoa, and he can finally breathe a sigh of relief, or can he? Because Callum Bradshaw, five cart lengths back, is there room for one last lunge, I wonder? I don't think so. It's uh, a little bit too much of a gap. I think Kel's got this one in the bag as he goes through. Doesn't even try to defend it as he comes across the line. He's going to take the win, and he's, he's, he's so happy with that one. Hits the side pod, and what a win for Danny Curl. He deserves it after his third place in the final yesterday. He takes the win this time, and as the number one driver, you've got to have it. Yep, and you, you spoke to him yesterday, and he, sort of, he, said, he sort of sensed his frustration that, you know, he wanted to sort of he, he was to sit in third place, you know, but he said, the start of the championship, I wanted to to really, you know, have a go for the win, but I couldn't, you know, thinking about the championship today, he did. He let out most of the race to the front. Great, great final. What a way to end the on track portion of this weekend's race meeting. And there is the number 93 of uh, Will Murdoch, who has had uh, an issue. Uh, yeah. There's the result Curl by two tenths of a second from Bradshaw, then Jupp. In third, Hodgson in fourth, Reed, fantastic for Tyler Reed in fifth, McQueen sixth, Hudson seventh, Butcher in eighth, three seconds covering the top eight, lovely. Uh, ninth for Thomas Fleming, Gus Lawrence rounds out the top ten ahead of Oliver Gray and Archie Tillett. That you can see on your screens, Taylor in 13th, Turner 14th, Anglis 15th, Armstrong in 16th, Shield 17th, Nippers in 18th, uh, Wood, Marshall, McEwen, 
uh, the bent axle but will, will Murdoch finishes 22nd Hodge Platten and Alessandro Serenetti round at the top 25. Sam Hawthorne, 26. Casper Scusa, Ollie Greetham, uh, Ewan Wilson. There's Joe Bullen uh, giving uh, Danny Curl uh, congratulations. And there's the Fusion mechanic again congratulating. And a uh, little look back there. Nat Thomas finishing 30th. Brad Pennell, 31st. Gary Edwards, 32nd. We lost Morgan Porter halfway through that race, the pre final winner. And Alex Pendlebury uh, didn't complete a lap. But there is on camera now. Coming into scrutineering, Danny Curl, he's having a little look at the timing monitor up there just to see what his fastest lap was and uh, you know how he coped, how he compared pace-wise with everything else. And, oh, you know, I think that uh, behind him you can see uh, Callum Bradshaw having a look around and uh, Danny Curl's probably thinking, there you go, Callum, nice try in the first one, but, you know, I've got a few years on you, son, and, uh, you know, I'm a bit long in the tooth to fall for that move maneuver twice in two starts and there's, a, there's the eyes of the 2017 world Karting champion the back of the uh there, arms folded oliver hodgson and uh hey, hey there we go elbow pump there we go yeah think, think of corona yeah, yeah elbow pump. There, the, the two drivers absolute fierce rivals on the track but lots and lots of mutual respect on it off it yeah, definitely. It's uh, it was a very close race out there, and uh, yeah, team clearly happy with that win after yesterday's final result. And yeah, I, I would definitely be happy with that one as well. Yeah. So uh, now we, we've got the presentation, which will take place a little bit later on, and uh, I know you'll be interviewing the winners there, uh, Anthony. But so as we look at the uh, sort of the closing moments of the the, the drivers in scrutineering. And uh, what are your thoughts? So this is your first, you've been blooded. I have. Yeah, yes, I have. You have You have lost your Motorsport UK British Kart Championship virginity, as it were. <laughs> and what What are your thoughts as we see Danny Curl uh, taking his lid up there? It looks as cool as a cucumber. Yeah, so reflections upon the weekend. Reflections were, one, how close the racing was. Very. Uh, yeah. Very. Yes. I wasn't expecting it to be that exciting, but it was. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's and at this circuit again, this is a real driver's track. You know, this is that you can see the the, uh, the 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 perspiration coming off the drivers coming, and they're very fit young men and women. Um, but the, this track, really a driver's track. You know, overtaking not as easy as it is at some other tracks. So you imagine we go to a track where it's just slipstreaming, and it really is like the Daytona 500 in NASCAR, where they're bump drafting with each other all over the place. Uh, but I mean, look at that view. It's a fantastic setting, a beautiful part of the world. You know, it's uh, we're, a, we're a few months late starting the British Championship, but by word, the wait was worth it. Very worth it. So there will be obviously uh, interviews and the presentation will be taking place shortly. Uh, whilst we're looking at the race circuit, it gives me a chance to say a big thank you. A big thank you to the uh, marshalling team here you can just see on your screens there some of the boys and girls in orange coming off post after a long two days the marshals the most important people in all of motorsport without them giving up their time none of you would be able to go racing a big thank you as well to all the organizers uh the support staff here that have been put on to make sure that everyone is has their temperature checked coming onto the circuit that they're wearing masks around the paddock and that uh, all the uh the, the safety the health and safety aspects of uh, this current COVID crisis are uh, adhered to. Uh, a big thank you to all the, the paramedics and the medical team. They were called upon yesterday. Luckily, we had a really clean day of racing today in terms of nobody drive, trying to drive on their head, which was good. Yes, yeah, yeah, none of that, which was uh, very lucky. And, and also a big thank you to all our partners, not least to Alpha Live for providing us with the, uh, uh, with the, 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 the pictures. Uh, thank you to you providing for us with the words. Um, I did my bit as usual. Um, did your fair share, yeah. I did. I did a bit. <laughs> made, made, made noise, made a few mistakes, pratted about. Uh, uh, but I'm glad you all enjoyed the coverage. Big thank you to everyone for watching back home and uh, for all your support online. Thanks to Demon Tweaks, our partners, the Motorsport Timing uh, for providing all the timing and scoring. The British Championship moves on at a pace. So this is now nine weekends. Not every class competes. There are 14 classes in the British Championship this year. Uh, next week, we're at Lyd in Kent, the Garden of England, uh, where I'm sure it will be just as sunny and just as spectacular for the Honda and Rotax classes. So the interviews and the podiums, they're not going to be live streamed, but they will be on all the Facebook pages uh, 
later on this evening. The Alpha team work extremely hard to give you a lot of coverage uh, post-race as well. So uh, final, final words, Anthony. Final words. Great weekend. Can't wait for Lid. Yes, bring it on. Thank you very much for joining us. This has been the Motorsport UK British Kart Championships opening round for 2020. Goodbye from Raura. The leading rookie, finishing 24th today, Nat Thomas. Yay! We're clapping. Where's his pot? The leading rookie. Dan's put, there we go, Dan's put away. Well done, Nat. So finished 31st yesterday, 24th today. Improvements all the way. So finishing third, finishing 24th. But the top three, again, a fantastic race to watch. I'm sure you'll all agree. Finishing in third place after his birthday yesterday, a belated birthday podium for Connor Jupp. Uh. Connor, all I've got to say is that the crowd go wild. Well done, Connor. Second place today, Callum Bradshaw. <laughs> but your winner, the number one plate on the top step of the podium, Danny Curl. I can't clap because I got a massive pole with two microphones in one hand and a load of paper in the other. I'm clapping inside. Over the moon for you inside. There we go. So, over to you, over to you Anthony. Thank you very much again. Last photos just being taken. Are we happy? We good? Yeah, yeah we're good. We're good. Excellent. So, uh, Danny. We spoke yesterday on the podium with a third place in the final. Today, it's a first place. That must be a little bit of a better result for you. Yeah, of course, it's a better result. And uh, obviously, I'd rather have first and third. So, yeah, happy with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, third is uh, it's still good. You're on the podium. It's still points uh, at the end of the day. And uh, of course, yeah, big improvement on today. Uh, the conditions this morning, terrible. Luckily for the final, it's all dried out and the rain held off. Um, today, that final race, it just it looked a bit of a challenge. Yeah, I mean, the weather is um, a bit surprising the last two days. I mean, we are in Cumbria and it stayed dry, so <laughs> it was always uh, going to get a bit of rain, I think. But, yeah, it spiced it up a little bit. And, um, yeah, it, I mean, the final was always going to be difficult. It was difficult yesterday, it was going to be difficult today, but I was just in the right place at the right time and it, and it fell to me, so I'm happy with that. Awesome stuff. It paid off and uh, congratulations on the race win. Thank you.